Hey everybody, welcome to the Letters Page. I'm Sal. I'm Ben. I'm Tiffany. This is a show here on Comic Pop where we open letters and packages from you out there who send us letters and packages via the P.O. Box in the description below this video. It's P.O. Box 1157, Denville, New Jersey, 0734. Go uh, use it and send us a letter or package like these fine people right here. Joseph in Brooklyn. Not Joseph! He's Magneto's alter ego. Well, only his clone. Where'd that knife go? You mean this knife? That's the knife. Huzzah! Ta da! Let's do it! Boing! <laughs> I've got a world of pure imagination stuck in my head. Well, that makes sense. I think it's... You see what? I, said, I think you should go that way. Maybe not. I don't know. How? Like here. See? Like oh, I flip. see. There's a thingy <laughs> with the thing. Damn it! All right, here we go. Uh, no notes, but Joseph, thank you so much. We've got Ultimate Fantastic Four Volume 2 in hardcover. Here comes the full. And from Koch Comics, a freebie fun pack, which includes Brigade Number 1 from Image Comics. God damn it. Thanks. No, I'm kidding. Actually, it's number two? Aha! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Either way, thank you very much. Uh, we don't have a lot of fan Ultimate Fantastic Four. In fact, I think this is the only trade of Ultimate Fantastic... No. Nope, we have the one where they meet the, the Marvel Zombies. But we this is the only hardcover and one of the only Ultimate Fantastic Fours we have in the studio. Oh, we got some cards, too. Hey, hey I remember getting these. Remember yeah. these baseball cards? I remember getting them with gum. Yeah, we got... No, no we, we got, got these from, another, from, from the Koch Comics last time. Yeah, this one's Rodney Pete. Brigade Genocide. Genocide's the bad guy. Oh. You can tell from his pointy lettering. That guy looks like Cable. Yeah, well, they all look like Cable. They're drawn by Rob Liefeld. Yeah, but he's got a little skull in his hair. Oh. Well, maybe that's just a little... He's got, like, a little skull. He's got, like, a regular skull. Well, he's got the regular skull he's, that's, and like, then his in behind the skull. He's got, like, a tiny skull. This is from Lang, over in Brooklyn, New York. Oh, another Brooklyn. Ooh. No, there's only one Brooklyn. I hear you can't get any sleep until you get there. Yeah, no sleep till. Hmm. Bad act. I'm supposed to yell Brooklyn. Oh, so Brooklyn! There we go. <laughs> I was watching Sal. <laughs> I don't know. I was... You never know what he's going to do. It's fair. I know. He, he had a knife. To be fair, you don't know what anyone's going to do here on this channel. <laughs> See? Unpredictable. <laughs> Wacky, wild, inflatable, flailing tip. Damn it. No. Nope. It just says what it's in it. <laughs> Yeah, but it's Ultimate X-Men Ultimate Collection wow. by Mark Millar. A lot of ultimate love lately. Yeah. Volume 2. <laughs> it's the ultimate love. Thanks and joy. Thank you. Who's Will it? do. Thanks, Lang. This one is from Paul in Auburndale, Massachusetts. And I like all the stamps. Those are great stamps. Uh, Scooby Look at all stamps. those Scooby stamps. Got, you, 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 you want bring, a Scooby stamp? Yeah, did you bring your Scooby stamps? <laughs> ruh, ruh. I don't know what he says, I guess. Rhea! There you go. There. That was pretty good. Thanks. You deserve a Scooby snack. <gasps> it's know. a dog treat. <laughs> I was, I'm you don't looking, want this. I'm, as as the milk bone, I'll be I okay. am looking for a note, and I don't see one. Maybe it's in one of the books, so let's just start pulling things out. We've got Jean Grey. Oh. Uh, Final Fight and Nightmare Fuel, Volume 1 and 2. Basically. Nightmare <laughs> Fuel? <laughs> yeah, it's written by Dennis Hopeless, so we'll see. Yeah. Known fact, uh, when I went camping with my friends and we did the Appalachian Trail, we were Team Nightmare Fuel. Oh. Oh. Was that before or after Witches? Uh, that was before, surprisingly. <laughs> Although you gave me new Nightmare Fuel, so thanks for that. Yay, Awesome. This is interesting. Yep. I, see, this is actually kind of cool that you sent this because this will give me another chance to like pot, try to get into some Dennis Hopeless because I did not care for his run on Doctor Strange. You mean it was hopeless? Yeah, he really lived up to the name. This looks like... I can't. I don't even know what this is, but I love the covers of these. So let's just pull them out. Land of the Lustrous. One and two. Two mangas. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just looking at them. These are really pretty. Let's see what it's about. One. I'm a little terrified. In a world inhabited by crystalline life forms called the Lustrous, every unique gem must fight for their uh, way of life against the threat of the Lunarians, who would turn them into decorations. 
Phospholite, the most fragile and brittle of gems, longs to join the battle. When Phos is instead assigned to complete a natural history of their world, it sounds like a dull and pointless task, but this new job brings Phos in contact with Cinnabar, a gem forced to live in isolation. Can Phos' seemingly mundane assignment lead Phos and Cinnabar to the fulfillment they desire? I hope An so. An elegant new action manga for fans of Steven Universe. I look forward to checking what? this out. I really do. Sweet. I kind of like the style, too. Ooh, thank you so... I don't know who said... Well, yeah, we know who said it. It was Paul. Yeah. But thank you so much, Paul. This cover concerns me. Why? Well, it's manga. Uh-huh. And there's a lot of white goopy stuff on the cover. Well, that could be anything. It could be. That's what concerns me. Yay! Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. I like that Scooby is watering Wait, a plant. I'm going to change my hat. Change your hat. Hat Wait, time for i got to make sure... Wait, hang on. If I take this part out... There we go. Whoa, would you cut a rubber band? What's wrong <laughs> with you? Now I'm the emperor from Mulan. <laughs> Hat. <laughs> this is from Friendly Neighborhood Comics in Massachusetts. That is a great name for a comic book. Seriously? I, I'm like, I'm amazed this is the first time I'm hearing one called that. Doesn't it kind of make you want to go to all these stores? It really does. I would love to go to all the stores and send us stuff. Hey, look at this. It's from our friends over there. <laughs> It's the first volume of Ultimate Fantastic hey! Four. So we must have opened it out of sequence. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but hey, you know what? We got it. It's a beautiful hardcover. The first of four! Da, 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 da. Fantastic Four. Na, 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 da, 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 da. It's from the Dreamlands, which are in Fremont, California. Ooh. I mean, I'm not surprised that it would be in California. Right? Seems very nice out there. Does well, it? except when it's well, on fire. <laughs> except for the fires. And the, and the landslides. Not all of it's on fire. But the rest of it the is The areas fire. you want to be in are on fire. <laughs> or they're submerged in the water like San Diego. I'm, I'm getting a real uh, theme yeah, uh, for these past uh, few issue episodes of this show. It's Ultimate X-Men! Book one! Nice. Look this crazy bag. <laughs> no! we, uh, we don't have this, so that's fantastic. Well, no, I guess we're covered. X-Men. I know. We don't have, like, this volume. <laughs> but yes. I'm excited. This is great. We got a really rounded out ultimate collection. Thanks to you incredible people out there. Uh, are you parroting me, you son of a bitch? Get out of here. <laughs> hey, where's that rubber band? No. It's already shot. <laughs> Well, you don't, I don't shot that romance. <laughs> anyway, moving on. It's from Gavin in Michigan. Where in Michigan? Grand Rapids. Nice. We're in Michigan. Eh, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, near the hand. Hello, Comic Pop slash TV Little House. Aww. Oh, yay! Deep dive. Big fan. My name's Gavin. I'm 15, and because I'm younger and I've learned a lot about of uh, older comics from you guys, I recently went through a rough patch in my life. So one of the few highlights of my day would be watching your videos. Aww. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for that, but I'm glad that things we could are provide. better and that we give respite. Then that's right. Uh, I discovered you guys with the Saga Volume One back issues. That was and... my first one. I was so scared. That's right. You can see in that episode. Uh... <laughs> <I don't. laughs> you can see how scared I am. Yes. Yeah, Just pause then... it right on that nervous mm-hmm. face. And since then, I bought every single volume. <gasps> Yay! Gavin! Yay! I want to thank uh, Ben and Ethan also for pointing out a lot of the weird and dumb things that happen in comics. <laughs> and Tiffany for the introductions to comics like Saga and Sandman and Doctor Strange. <gasps> Yay! I also Gavin have to and I would get along great. It's true. <laughs> I want to thank Sam. No, no, no. We were done with that. You're, you're over. Okay, well... Uh... You know, thanks, Sal, for introducing <laughs> some of my now favorite series and characters, and thank you guys for the positive memories and the overall positive community. Well, thank you very much for very for being a part of it, man. It's our pleasure. Sincerely, Gavin. Uh, P.S. I got to meet James Tynion IV and got him to sign my copy of Constantine the Hellblazer Volume 1. That's awesome. And if you guys have not checked it out, I recommend it. Okay. And my love of comics inspired me to write a novel, somewhat parodying, critiquing modern age superheroes, but I'm almost finished. Would you like to check it out? Uh, yeah, shoot us a, yeah, shoot us a comp or uh, just send me, a, send me a link and I'll buy it. Right. But, and, uh, and hey, if you like James Tynion IV and you haven't already picked up Justice League Dark, you'll dig it. It's good. But uh, Gavin, thank you so much for being a part of this community. We It, it wouldn't be as positive about people like you. Agreed. Uh, this is sent to us from Sverige. Uh, is that Sweden? I don't know. I think it is because I get the feeling... Hey, it's I... Lizette. I think we've gotten things from Lizette before. We have. I'm not hey, another Lizette. Yeah. And then I apologize for being... Multiple Lizettes who send us things on letters page. In hey. Ornsk. 
Skaldsvik. Oh yeah, no, or Skaldsvik. Yeah. I'm really glad that Ben opened this one and I didn't. <laughs> Ooh, there's a poster inside. Good, good use of tube then. Right. It's a good thing she didn't send us like a cat or something. Yeah. Ben's looking for the cat. This... <laughs> yeah, got me excited for cat man. <laughs> Look at Sorry. these really cool stamps. Right. Stamp illustrations. Ha! <clears throat> All right, hold it up. You get one side, I'll get the other. Oh, okay. It's a poster with an inspirational quote. Nerds like us are allowed to be unironically enthusiastic about stuff. Nerds are allowed to love stuff. Like, jump up and down in your chair, can't control yourself, love it! When people call people nerds, mostly what they're saying is, you like stuff! Which is not a good insult at all. <laughs> like, you are too enthusiastic about the miracle of human consciousness! John Green. Nice. Lizette, this is an awesome poster. I yes, love it is. that poster. It's very motivational. Proud to be I nerds. It. Agreed. And John Green's a smart guy, so I'll take that. All right, Tiffany. Here's we a, got box. a box for you. Can you pull that end out for me? Bang! Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna open this box now. <laughs> <laughs> from Josh in Los Angeles, California. Oh, wow. Uh, it's Los Angeles. What? It's Los Angeles. No, it is not. Is that what they say out there? Am well, I... they say L.A. Oh, I'm just not hip. I'm not with it. I used to be with it. I really like how this like box is put together. I don't know why, but I but do. But then it changed. Woo! No, it anymore. Right. And what's it now is weird Wait, and scary. Yeah. Ooh, one letter. I found it. Dear Comic Pop Crew. That is us. Okay. Hello. Okay, you put your name, your full name in here. I'm going to go for it. All right, here we go. My name is Josh Zingerman, and I've been a longtime fan of yours since your episode on Superman Birthright. Nice. That was a good one. I yeah. actually graduated from the Kubert School in 2015. Hey! And cool. I'm now working as a freelance illustrator in Los Angeles. Nice. Sorry about no it. Stop. <laughs> I'm yelling at you. Uh, that's incredible, dude. You're living the dream. Just keep, just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, and uh, sorry you had to live in Dover for so long. Hey, hey. There's a lot of like that, that's, that's close to us. Whatever. Um, it's a nice town. Sure. <laughs> As a token of my gratitude for all the entertainment you've provided me, I thought I would send you guys a piece of artwork. It's something I've been wanting to illustrate for a while now. Oh, dude. One of his awesome. own illustrations. That's awesome. As Tiffany is such a big fan of Doctor Strange, it seemed an obvious choice. Indeed. You guys remind me so much of my friends from the Q-Word School, many of whom live outside the country, and in a big way, watching your videos brings me back to those good old days. Oh, Drawing nice. eight to ten hours a day can be very isolating, but made me so much made so much more entertaining with your hilarious commentary. Thank you. By the way, man, like kudos to you, like sticking to it because that's the way to do it. Like, yeah. Yeah, so it's incredible. Now uh, we know someone in the biz. That's right. right? Now. Uh, so thank you from the bottom of my heart for creating a channel that gives me, and I'm sure many fans, a place to feel right at home. I hope to meet you guys someday in person, either at a Comic-Con or some other event. Sal, if you ever wish to dive back into writing comics and are looking for an artist, I'd be honored to collaborate. Oh, thank you, man. I plan on doing three more illustrations centered on Sal, Ben, and Ethan. Ooh. Still deciding what exactly Sal and Ethan's are going to be, but for you, Ben, expect Black Cat to make an appearance. Yay. Thank I'm you. I'm also sending you guys a few images because they're the... Or image... Images. <gasps> I'm also sending you guys a few image comics because they're the best. Agreed. Yeah. Um, I'm highly recommending the Extremity. Yes. Hmm. Sorry. For its story and profit for its weirdness. I haven't read Motor Crush yet, but it looked like something Tiffany would dig. You know what? I wanted to pick that up, but I didn't get a chance. So thank you for doing that. And Extremity, dude, it's a great book. I met the guy way into it. It's just like, it's like a Ghibli film on steroids. Whoa. Um, I'm also sending, oh, sorry. Enjoy. P.S. Congratulations, Sal and Tiffany, on your marriage. You. you two are hashtag or the hashtag relationship goals of every nerd on the planet. Bless you both. Thanks, Thank you all again. Sincerely, Josh. Thank you for your incredible letter. Yeah, thanks, Josh. Okay. Give me the art. All, hey. Here is Motor Crush, which I am excited to read and check out. And I'm excited to listen to you talk about it on the channel. Right. You're like, there's a sexy chick on a, a motorcycle. On a motorcycle. Yeah. I'm in. That's... It's uh, Babs Tar art on the front there. And I, I don't great. know if she actually does the interiors as well. She might. Oh, well, she's one of the creators. So oh, well, that's yeah. incredible. Here's Extremity. This is a cool, crazy book. 
Yes. Pick it up. <laughs> and then Profit, which I've actually never really checked out before at all. Is this the, the elephant? All I know is this is step three. No, that's Elephant Man. Oh, yeah. No, I've never checked this out at all. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh, said, all I know is this is step three. Excellent. Oh. Thank you. And then, this is the, this is the point I'm very excited about. Is a mailing is a mailing tube. Oh man. Yeah. I know what's coming next. Need a knife? No, oh, you don't. Oh, excuse me. This is really well packaged. <laughs> I appreciate packaging. What? Dude, you gotta be kidding me! Are you for real with this? No, you can't have the tube because you're gonna yell in my face. I was just gonna hold it. I may have yelled later. When you said it was Doctor Strange, I thought it was Doctor Strange. This is not Tiffany as Doctor Strange. With everybody else, with because he us, did. Yeah. And I think it's that's me. That's Sal. That's Sal. And there's Sal and Ben. <laughs> Actually, that's me and little ben. me. Yeah, it's just Ben. Is it? Yeah. I got the earring. Mm hmm This is incredible. This is insane. Yeah, that this clock is, this tower actually looks like the one in Denville. Yes, it does. That is straight up the Denville clock Dude, tower. Dude, well, I from the Kubert School, adore you know. this. Can we get it closer so yeah. we can see his artwork? Because, dude, you're really talented. Look at that. Look at how cool this is. Yeah. I'm no, going to Google you seriously. and see if you have an uh, online portfolio. With, yeah, with dude, we got to like share your Instagram or whatever it is that you are on currently. Yeah. Wow. My face is blocking it. Sorry. That's okay. No, you're fine. You're allowed. That is so incredible. I love this. This is like definitely like an issue, like issue one of Comic Pop, the series, like the comic book series. <laughs> it's great. What? Of course, Marvel sent us a C and David. Who the hell cares? I know. Thanks, Josh. Josh, this is I'm awesome, man. I'm blown away by this. Well, thank you everybody for sending us such amazing stuff here on the letters page. And we'll, uh, we'll see you guys next week with another episode. Of course, if you want to check out Josh's work, check the description, grab a link. We'll put something there for you to find. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys next week with another episode of Letters Page. I'm Sal. I'm Ben. And I'm Tiffany! <laughs> Damn it. I got two tubes. Yeah. You got both barrels. <laughs>